The Real Housewives of Potomac taglines are here, so let's rate them. Shout out to our friends over at lovebscott.com that had the exclusive taglines before they were released. So Giselle, I'm no angel, but give me some grace and you'll learn to adore me. I don't know how I feel about it, but what I do love about this, it's references of all three of her daughters, which hopefully this means her season will be about her and, and her family, because I find that more relatable. I'm gonna give this, if it's based off of that, I'm gonna give this a solid eight and a half. Ashley Darby. You don't have to dig for gold when you shine this bright. It feels very, very typical Housewives. For me, it's very solid. I don't love it. It doesn't really let me know what her season's going to be like, but I'm gonna give it an eight. I just took a DNA test and it turns out I 100% don't care. Robin Dixon, I just took a DNA test and it turns out I 100% don't care. Shut up, girl. Shut up. This is for me the same of her giving the audience the middle finger at the end of last season. So just because it feels like that's the same energy she's going to give us throughout this season, I'm gonna give this a five. This is why it's important to hear them say it because Candace sings this part. When they go low, I just hit high notes. She says, when they go low, I just hit high notes. And she actually sings it. It's a reference to her music career. Uh, I don't hate it. I don't love it either. <sighs> I'm going to give this a seven and a half. Can you guys believe we have eight housewives this season for, for Potomac? This is a full cast. Mia says, it doesn't matter the size of our home. I'm always the queen of this castle. Hey, no. Very typical housewives. Based off what we are hearing and seeing, it doesn't give me a reference of what we can expect in regards to her storyline. It's solid though. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Dr. Wendy Estefa. If you're gonna test this professor, be prepared to fail. If you're gonna test this professor, be prepared to fail. Based off what we're hearing in regards to her season and the new girl coming for her, I actually have to say, Dr. Wendy Estefa, although I haven't believed she's brought a lot over the years, she can bring the shade and I like this. This is probably my favorite of all of them. I'm gonna give this a nine and a half. Speaking of the newbie, NECA, she says, Nigeria raised me, LA made me, and Potomac will remember me. I like it. I like it. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about it, but I like this. I'm going to give this an eight and a half. Last and definitely not least, Karen Huger says, I don't ride the fence, honey. I am the fence. You ride me. I don't ride the fence, honey. I am the fence. You ride me. So when I first heard this, I was like, hmm. Because you know, last season, she had a very questionable, she had some questionable statements and shade and, and tagline. But when you think about this, the way that they wrote her last season, I'm sure they're doing the same this season. I'm going to give this a nine. I think, I think this was solid. I'm only giving it a nine and not a nine and a half or a ten because we have to think about it a little too much in order to get it. But welcome back to the queen. You bring the lighter. I got the fuse. You make a fire. I'll ask you. Follow my lead.